role of technology in business and business technology in technology. How is it? If there is a technology or a techno product, how to market that? How to make the product reach? That is known as technology with business. Whenever you are doing business, to implement technology like mass productivity, mass distribution, advertisement, priority pricing, etc. You have to understand the cyberspace, the web transfer, online purchasing, then online transmissions, e-business structures, e-credit structures, everything. So it is role of technology in business. So now a person who is not having technology in business and vice versa, he is handicapped. He is totally handicapped, either techno handicapped or trade handicapped to concern something with the business for a mass productivity and reach at all. And somebody asked me, what is the use of these lectures? Most of the information about India or the global trade or recession is available on books, journals and research publications. But they cannot create motivation inside you. And it is the duty of a person, just as a mother, she organizes everything and conglomerates into a delicious food which is full of nutrition, digestibility and taste towards you which makes it more palatable, adaptable, digestible and also producing such a salubrity and a extensibility in your cerebral body for your effective functioning. It is a duty of any person to integrate the knowledge particles, to place it in order and give it with proper direction and immediate action oriented stimuli by which the person is already sleepy or slow or lack of steadfastness inside the mind those people they can catch fire with the ignition of motivation so already you are reading innumerable things either out of compulsion or out of intention you may be knowing a lot of things but still your motivation which is result oriented is very much to be associated now which can instigate lot of other existing hidden latent dimensions inside and there are innumerable systems of spirits inside you and motivation exercise is understanding of the script as well as the spirits for proper understanding. Script is given in the book, script is inside you. Unless these two things are made into friction, you cannot get anything else to So it is known as cognitive com conceptive spirit. The conceptive spirit is inside the book, but that is totally dependent on your involvement. The cognitive spirit is inside you, both of them should rub together and this friction will result in the blazing fire of action, infallibly resulting action oriented action, successful action, perennial action, vigilant and dynamic action is produced by this friction and such motivation exercises are going to amalgamate the knowledge that you already possess and see that it can motivate your spirit. There are spontaneous spirits. For example, there are a lot of people who will be just sleeping like that. But when there is a problem, when there is a need, immediately their mind will work out. There are a lot of people in the society that is known as spontaneous spirit. And slow spirit is a person like a charcoal he must be drilled and instigated from the external sources and he will get that. And a steady spirit is a person ever prepared for challenges. It is very rare to see in the society. Stimulated spirit is the spirit. Lot of people in, among the view may be having that stimulated spirit. Unless they have proper companionship. Good companions, good students, good teachers, good books, good business opportunities, good business economics and environmental opportunities. Unless the persons are stimulated by some decoration or some radiation or any other thing that is coming from various sources, the person's knowledge will not work out at all. So, motivation exercises should be conducted within the people. If they are steady, that steadiness will be installed. If they are slow, they will be accelerated. If they are spontaneous, that spontaneous presentation will be hypervigorated, deeply invigorated. If they require some sort of stimuli, then only they will recognize after this motivation, instigation, they will recognize, yes, I was sleeping, I have it, I had it, I have to see that it is visible in my eyes and hands, I will do for it. So, these motivation exercises are very much useful for making the conceptive fire or the conceptive store inside your syllabus to rub with the cognitive spirit of your inner mind to produce a blazing spirit of knowledge realization for action. And coming to investment, in the concluding session, investment uh, is done with lot of hope without minding their affordability, suitability, tolerability and adjustability. Whether I am suitable for the business or not, everybody is doing so you are doing. So whether profit comes, yes, I can put it in my safe. If loss comes, can I tolerate? Can I revive myself? So now, investment psychology is very, very, very bad and unworthy that it does not suit investment opportunity and security. There is a very great imbalance between investment security come opportunity with investment psychology. The present people, they are not properly trained with. There are innumerable types of investment in which direct investment is there where we work. That is known as involvement based, work based, 
supervision base, monitor base and surrender base. Whenever you are doing some business for commodity trade or somebody else, you have surrendered the money and praying God whether it comes or not. So it is known as surrender. So it may be your survival, it may be your abundance, it may be your life. Uh, uh, that is what the Shastra says, it is Sarpa Dashta, Vrichika Dashta and Pipilika Dashta. For Tata and other people, they even very big loss is like ant bite. For some people it will be a scorpion bite, some people it is a snake bite. So we should see, even in case of any intolerance, even in case of any unpredictable downfall, we should see that we should select the last within the tolerable limits. That type of knowledge is not with the society at all. That type of thing is not available. So business intelligence has been researched. We are making, and a very great thing I wanted to inform here is, we are going to start a business intelligence concern here at Pune. We have been discussing for the past two years. It is going to be a very big research institution with international affiliation also. There we have customized we have targeted the areas of research. You cannot do everything untargetedly. The first zone of business intelligence mapping is on iron ore, magnesium, appetite, bauxite, fuels and chemicals. The second area of research is food items like milk, tea, sugar cane, rice etc. and food processing units and even timber which are from the same vegetation resources. Third thing is from the electronics industry, from the construction industry like cement, glass etc. The third thing is telecommunication industry, fourth is transportation industry, fifth is pharmaceutical industry. Fourth thing is what we call GRT, gold, real estate and tourism. They are based on the mentality of the people and general social position and uh, solace. It is based on these three things. It is not a GRT industry. Fifth thing is India is having a very wonderful knowledge slavery. The knowledge of the interesting somebody over India is developing. It is not so. India is being utilized or exploited by other people for that development. It is more that we have not uh, come here to discuss about the geopolitical conflict that exists in the society. But India has a very huge manpower. It can contribute to the development of nations like US, UK, Silicon Valley, especially of US, Australia, Canada, Japan. It can contribute to the development of <coughs> other nations due to which knowledge processing industries. <coughs> there is a fifth zone. First is the fuel, chemical, mineral zone. Second is the food, food, food related zone. Third thing is the electronic security services, service oriented, various other zones, transportation, construction, etc. Fourth thing is the GRT, the real estate, gold and tourism zone. Fifth thing is knowledge processing zone. These five zones, we are making a presentation how to target these zones and make specifically customized business intelligence units. How we have to make that? Now the society is fast food society, somebody told. It is a fast food society and the other dimension of the society is fast wealth society. Immediately they want money. They are ready to lose anything. They are ready to do anything provided that they get money immediately. It is known as fast wealth economy or fast wealth society which is very dangerous at all. And people they are going into two insecurities. One is absolute insecurity. Second is ambiguous insecurity. Ambiguous insecurity in business investment is it is based on bonds, shares, commodities, debentures, directives, various other things that exist in the society like mutual bonds, surety bonds, safety measures, everything is there. And even though that there are a lot of divisions in which the risk is already given, in spite of that they are taking risk. In spite of that they are taking risk even though the risk policy says that the risk is more than 30 or 40 percent, still you go into that. So that is certificated security measures, non-certificated security measures, global security measures. And they are also having partial security measures, they are having fungible security measures, non-fungible security measures, divided security measures, non-divided security measures, innumerable security measures are there. They are ambiguous. Mutual bonds, you should have read the risk policies of the mutual bonds whenever you are going. These things are tolerable because they are part and parcel of the global functioning where we can predict up to an extent. And one more thing is offshore investment. When the Swiss bank started its very great meritorious unit at Chennai, lot of bad people without understanding or without calculating how the fellow can give the same amount in four months and continuously they can shower the amount till you like or till the person is alive to give. Offshore investment was started now also it is being clandestinely functioning in various websites and various units. People those who are driven by there are three driving units of people. One is desire drive, second is depression drive, third thing is dilemma drive. Desire drive means somehow I have to get money. Second thing is depression drive. No, no. There is no way that I can work and earn money. Only if I can get money, it should be God given and it should jump from heaven. So the only possibility is offshore investment. So these people, they go on depression drive. Third thing is dilemma. If somebody says that, yeah, just now I am receiving the money, just now I have deposited, 